<sighs> so, uh, that was the first time I ate Subway in like a long time. It's hard to eat in the car because it, it's falling all over. I'm getting this little table today. It's a little table that I can like put up and eat in my car with so I can do videos with it. But it didn't come and it was late in the mail. I'm trying it out. I don't know if it's going to work that well. But I haven't ate Subway in like a long time. And I was just like wanting that meatball marinara. But the thing about the meatball marinara is like it's it's kind of mystery meat. It's like I don't even know what you I don't know what you guys made of this stuff. <clears throat> I don't know what this is, but it's pretty alright. I mean I used to like Subway a lot, but now I like I haven't really been there that much because I guess I've been doing my <clears throat> these food videos and kind of just sticking to the places that get me views and shit. I usually don't try to do this in my hoodie. I probably need a new hoodie. I've been wearing the same hoodie forever, but... So, um... Uh, but as far as Subway goes, Subway is pretty okay. Um, I don't really think it's that healthy when you put a lot of ranch on it or whatever. You know, like, you put... <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if it's really meatball marinara is that healthy. It seems kind of disgusting if you think about it. It's just, like, some random meatball or whatever. Like, it's not an actual meatball place, but somehow it works. Like, somehow it's okay. So, I don't know, I guess, like, if you go get, like, if you, if you try to make a sandwich from the store, like, even the in, in-house bread is usually not that good. <coughs> like, or the pre-made sandwiches. Like, I got one from Safeway, like, a pre-made sandwich, and the, there was so much bread, and it was just so dry. It was like, you can't even eat this sandwich without it just absorbing all the moisture in your body, because, you know, you... You put that big hunk of dry bread in your mouth and it just it absorbs all the moisture it can. It's like, there's no more moisture, so it just soaks it up like a sponge, basically. So then it's just dry, 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 dry. It's terrible. Like, who the fuck even, who, like, did anyone test those sandwiches and be like, hey, yeah, these are terrible. I don't know if you're making them with French bread or what you're doing, but it's bad. So Subway is okay. And I was struggling to get a Jimmy John's sandwich down the other day. I didn't have any water, but it, you can't just eat it. You know, it's like, it gets stuck. Oh my God, the bread is that's a thick, it has a thick, it has, the bread is thicker. Subway bread is more flatter and, sh and shit. So I think they did that on purpose, but I always choose Italian herbs and cheese. It's okay though. I mean, I'm probably not going to be eating it every day, but I used to like it a lot. I remember one year I got like a gift card for Subway. And it was like 30 or 50 bucks or something. I can't remember. I got like two two Subway gift cards one year on Christmas. I don't get gift cards anymore. I don't get shit for Christmas anymore. But one year I did. Maybe sometimes I do. Anyways. <coughs> um. So yeah, I usually get like... Yeah, so I, so I, yeah, I was eating a bunch of subs and it was crazy because I just... I just like using up these gift cards going there. But I usually get them get them on. If you order extra vegetables, they don't even charge. Like, hey, can I get an extra tomato? So you get a bunch of fucking vegetables on that sub. Um, I actually had a coupon. That's why I went there. But I was actually thinking like, man, Subway needs to die or something. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I really like it that much anymore. Like, it was okay for the time that I ate it. It's like this big sandwich. And it's just, you know, they toast it and stuff. And it's just like, yeah, you know. But... I don't really know if I really like it that much anymore. Like, it was okay. But am I going to be eating there every day? No. I would probably go to Jersey Mike's or something. But, like, as far as sandwiches go, you know, sandwiches are sandwiches. You know what I mean? Like, big sub sandwich. So epic. I ate Subway so epic, you know? God damn. I need to start eating at real restaurants and shit. And fucking eat at Subway. I'm going to go to KFC. I'm, I'm, I'm talking way too much now. I was supposed to just review the sandwich. The sandwich is okay. Probably too much ranch on it. I put ranch. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you put the French onion. You know, you get the, the chicken teriyaki, that French onion sauce. It's all right. But I usually load with vegetables, like pickles, everything. Like, I don't even care. Like, beef ball marinara, you probably don't even want any vegetables. But I'm like, hey, just load the vegetables on. I need vegetables. I like vegetables. You know what I mean? And, <clears throat> I mean, it's probably a better eating that than just a plain hamburger with with no vegetables i mean that was probably a lot more vegetables that was pretty much a salad on a sandwich which i don't mind i don't mind but it has to be in the right setting like 
you tried to throw all that shit on a burger, it probably doesn't work. But I had olives, pickles, onions, lettuce, tomato. I've even done like cucumber and fucking spinach and lettuce. And I even had them have, I was like, before when I was eating that subway, I'm like, I'm going to get my money's worth. I'm like, put extra tomatoes, extra lettuce, and it would just be like packed. So we just have a bunch of lettuce and, to and tomato on there. And I just eat that. And it was like, hey, that was, that was, that was a lot of vegetables, you know? <clears throat> Like, I've been trying to cook different stuff at home. Like, I cook peppers, onions. I, I like healthy stuff, man. You need healthy shit. I almost, I'm going on a rant now, but it's okay. Because I just ate Subway and I'm in my fucking car. Cool. But it's like, <clears throat> I, I like healthy food. And I, so I, peppers, onions, broccoli, chicken, some Italian seasoning, salt and pepper. That's basically what it is. And you mix that up and you chop it up. I just got some new cutting knives too. So I'm I'm happy with that. So, and then you just, you just put it in the fridge, make a big batch of it, and you're good. I actually didn't know you had to cut the broccoli stems. So, you can cut the broccoli stems, and I was throwing them away, but I finally learned that. I feel so stupid for that. But anyway, so, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I made vegetable soup before. I'm learning to cook at home. I'm actually going to make meatloaf tonight. I don't know. It's pretty good, but I usually plan meals and stuff, but I need to increase my recipe vocabulary, you know, and cook with vegetables and shit, because, like, when you cook with vegetables, and if you like vegetables, and you learn to to cook them in ways that they're good, because if you just eat plain carrots, probably not that good, but if you do them in a different way, or something, you put them in a soup with some seasoning, you have to have shit well seasoned for it to be good, you know what I mean? And a lot of people don't know that. They, they don't push the extra mile, because if you just get that soup in a can, it's kind of crap. So you kind of got to work to be healthy and get good food, high quality food, man. That's just kind of the way it is. People are too fucking lazy. They want you to give them everything and pay for, you know... Part of it's just people work their asses off, so they don't really want to do any extra work, you know? But if you get paid well enough, I guess you go to decent places all the time, but then that's exhausting, too. You know, but I guess you get to get this shit to delivered to your fucking door, but then that's expensive. Who can afford to get high-quality shit delivered to the door every fucking day? God damn. Just cook some shit in a fucking pot or something. That's the end of the rant. This was way too long of a video, but I needed to go on the, I needed to go on this Subway rant. Because I used to like it a lot more, but I think I ate too much of it. And it's like, it's not the same anymore. But every once in a while, probably okay. Like, I was actually in, like, almost nostalgic attachment to that sandwich because I've had it before a lot. So I'm like, dude, I've been craving that shit, which is bad. Like, you're craving Subway. Like, you're, you're thinking about Subway and you're salivating. Like, are you fucking serious? It's fucking Subway. So I don't know what's up with my discrimination against Subway. I guess it's good from time to time on certain occasions. But if you eat it all the time, I don't know if it's really going to be that great. Or, you know, maybe have it once in a while. Like me and McDonald's. I don't eat McDonald's every day, but I started to do it a lot because I was making videos and people like the videos. What the fuck are you supposed to do when you have people, you know, watching all these videos and shit. And you're like, oh shit, I'm a fucking star or some shit eating McDonald's. What the fuck? You know, like, what are you supposed to do? Eat more McDonald's then. Fuck it. But usually I would not go to McDonald's that much. I would go to McDonald's like maybe once, a couple times a year. Maybe. Maybe. Because, like, I just get a craving. Like, yeah, I need that shit. Like, I need that. But, like, to eat it all the time, especially fried food, it makes a difference, man. So today it was okay for me to go to Subway and just kind of re-experience it. But I got to admit, this video is way too long, but I was not... It was okay. It was okay. It was basically a bunch of vegetables smothered in fatty ranch dressing. God damn. Let's let's just dip that in some fucking vanilla pudding and fry it. The entire sandwich. Fuck it. A big fried Subway banana sandwich. Right up my asshole. Pretty all right, though. I used to, part of the reason is I thought it was getting a little bit too expensive. Because they used to be like, oh, $5 foot long. Now everything's like 8 bucks or whatever. So the meatball marinara is probably the cheapest piece of shit. Pre-made meatballs. I remember these meatballs that you could get at the store. I, I, I was eating them when I was like, I was in distraught and I needed easy food to make. And I would just take these meatballs from the, the like Walmart. You just get these package of meatballs, right? And I actually lived in a, 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 a apartment, a studio apartment with without my own stove. There's, there was no kitchen, so I had a microwave. You can have you can buy a little stove top though. You could buy a toaster oven, so you could you could get things there. But we shared a sink and shared a bathroom and shit. There was laundry there though, free laundry, so I could do my laundry there. That was pretty great. 
But so <laughs> I got these meatballs and I would just get bread, put, heat the meatballs up to the microwave, put them on the bread and put ketchup on it. Meatball sandwich. And it was good for me, but I was really depressed. That was a time when I was doing that. I was pretty depressed. And I was eating those little dubby snacks too. So it was not a very healthy, you know, it, the fact that I was on medications for depression and then I was eating like total crap and not even knowing. Because like some people, they just eat like total crap and they don't even give a shit. And I've been at those points in my life where I was trying to budget. Like one point I was, I spent all my money on weed. I don't even smoke weed anymore. But this is when I was like 19. I was living with this guy. And all I bought was bologna sandwiches and uh, and and ramen. That's all I ate. So that's not very nutrition. There's like no nutrition there. Like there's some nutrition, but not very much. Like you don't want to go on that diet for too long. So, you know. But I worked at a pizza place. So I did get pizza from time to time. But you know what I mean? Like I wasn't very conscious. And I actually ended up going crazy. So that might have contributed. The diet is important to your mental health. I'll tell you that. You need to get some vegetables. So people don't realize how important that shit is. Like, hey, Jimmy, Timmy, eat your vegetables, boy. Anyways, I'm out of here. That was my rant. That was my my breakdown. My expert breakdown. My expert breakdown. Have a good day.